Hello everybody, Motor Motion back again and today I've got a bit of a bike update to do for you all. Um, you might have noticed in my last couple of videos the bike sounds a little bit different and that's because I've bought a new Lextech exhaust. I know I said I wasn't going to buy one for a little while because I was going to buy the Arrow exhaust but I had a little search about it and I found I could get one of these for £65 and by the time I bought all the reducers and clamps and everything to fit it it was only added up to 80 whereas the arrow was 230 I think it was so I just went ahead and bought one but what because this was a slip on and the other one was a weld on what I've done is I chopped the downpipe off my original can, that saw, and then I've got a 37mm to 51, 51mm Lextec reducer, and I've trimmed it down, and then I've had it welded on to my original downpipe and then just slipped the Lex Tech onto it so now I've got a rear portion of the exhaust system slip on for £80 in total by the time I've done everything instead of 230 and it sounds awesome have a little listen That should be the last time I have anybody try and side swipe me while filtering because the car near me coming. Yeah, that's it. So I've, I've managed to get myself a full exhaust system for £180 rather than £350 for the full arrow system. So I've done well there, I think, especially considering I, was, I found out my standard exhaust system was already stainless so there was no need for any like to change it really just chop the damn pipe off and use it on the new one and you might also notice I've got some new hand guards fitted what these are is they're the um, I was looking at hand guards and I didn't particularly fancy Spending £60 for a set of Ace Abyss ones. And I was browsing through eBay. And I found these. Basically Chinese replica ones. But they looked exactly the same. They've got the metal brace. The, the aluminium brace bar going through them. Just like the Ace Abyss ones. The only real difference I can see. Is they haven't got the Ace Abyss logo stamped on them. But 90% of people. I ain't gonna notice that and if I really wanted to I could always just stick a couple of Ace Abyss stickers on them no one would ever see the difference but I'll be honest the the build quality on them seems pretty good considering the half the price of the Ace Abyss ones just sort of proves that you're paying for a name really well I wouldn't be surprised if they're made in the same factory just without the logos but what made me decide to buy these was uh, the other day I was riding through Blackheath by me and uh, I, I hit some traffic and I was filtering down the centre line and there was a bloke in a Vauxhall Astra who was being a knob basically, no other way to describe it, uh, moving across to try and block me coming through. So in the end I got pissed off with him and just shot up the centre. Well, if you're not going to move, I'll, I'll make a way through. And as I've come through, I've clattered his mirror with my clutch lever. And my clutch lever has gone crunch straight into my knuckles and hurt all my knuckles. And I had to pull over and kind of give me hand a bit of a rest. And um, after that, I decided 
<laughs> next thing on my shopping list is a set of ace bit well eight say ace bits a set of hand guards so next time that happens it will just cloak the hand guard instead and save me hands so I shouldn't have any more trouble uh, next thing on the list is going to be I'm going to buy a bubble screen for it I mean there's nothing wrong with this one really but uh, I do do quite a bit of dual carriageway work and I'm riding to Skegness next month and basically what they do is they make a screen with a large bubble in it like a double bubble screen on a sports bike uh, what it's supposed to do is deflect the wind a bit more over the top here rather than catching your chest so you don't have to quite so you don't have to tuck in quite so much on it all the time just makes life a bit easier they don't look as good but they to serve a purpose really so yeah that's about it guys about it yeah new hand guards Nice new pipe, sounds like a 450 now, starting to look a bit smarter, well happy, I highly recommend these chinky knockoff <laughs> guards to uh, anybody really, I, I don't often say anything nice about Chinese stuff, but they get the approval off me, and they even call me proper stainless steel bolts rather than shitty steel ones so can't argue but yeah that's it everyone thanks for watching i'll catch you later goodbye